Summer on My Mind Pop, hosted by Crafty Leany. Details coming. These are the projects I chose for today with the theme of summer. Project number one, I'm going to need a basket. It is one of two that I have that I've thrifted and I'm going to use magnolias. They're one of my favorite flowers and I have two of these trees in my yard. These are some foes that I got from Goodwill. I also have some burlap strips, two different thicknesses and two different colors. One's a little more sheer than the other. And then I just have some tulle that is white. I'm gonna be using some floral wire. You could also use uh, the little pipe cleaners or Chanel stands if you would like. But first I'm gonna get the dust off of these flowers. Just using a little paintbrush to do that. I'm going to fix the florals on their picks and stems. Just kind of twisting those leaves around a bit. And I'm going to start laying them out how I would like for them to show up. This is a good arrangement to do if you have a glass door that you want to put it on. Because you can see the other side is going to just be the basket and you won't have a mess back there. Like you do with some wreaths and floral arrangements that you might want to put up. I'm just going to add these picks where I feel like they look right. I move my things around quite a bit. And remember, if you have florals that are fake or silk, you can always bend the wires to have them in the direction that you would like for them to face. I'm going to use some of this floral wire to make little picks and ties. I'm just going to fold it over like a hairpin, push it through the that open mesh in the back, and then twist it, and it'll hold it in place. I'm going to do the same thing with the greenery. You can stack them together and wrap them around. And this is what it's going to look like. You can always go back in with some hot glue and a little spare greenery and put that around wherever you would like if you see spots that need a little more filling. But I think this looks pretty good. Everything seems to be happy where it's at. Just gonna pull a few things out. And now we're gonna work on our bow. I am going to use 16 inches of this open mesh. And then the one that's a little bit more closely woven, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Cut that off. And then I'm just going to cut about the same amount of the tool. That's hard to see against this background. Now this bow is going to be super easy. Protect your fingers. I didn't do that here, but I was very careful how I was holding it. You're going to fold those over on themselves right there on the edges and press it down. Put it aside so it can cool and we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to wrap that one over a little bit more so it makes the loop a little smaller. So see there you have a little extra in the back. It's a little shorter on the second layer and then I'm just folding this last one up. No rhyme or reason to that. Now I'm going to press this bow, pinch it and then press it together in the middle. I'm going to take some jute cord and I'm just going to tie that in a couple of knots to hold that bow together. You can use a twist tie for this if you want, or you can use zip ties, floral wire, whatever you have. I'm trying to go through some of the supplies that I have now. And jute is what I happen to have a little extra of. So these are just pretty much scraps that I have left. And I'm going to trim these down to make the tails. I'm using 12 inches of each of these. I'm going to cut those after I stack them right down the middle. And then I'm going to trim off the stitched area because I want to have a rough edge on this. 
I'm just going to trim it off and I'm going to set it aside because it will be used in another project. Same thing on this one. And then you can just start pulling the loose threads off to give it a little frayed edge on both sides. Now going to the darker ribbon, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it and then just start pulling some of the edges loose from that. You can see they come off very easily. Now I'm going to stack them with the darker color in the back and the lighter color on top just like I did with the bow. You can go trim up anything that's sticking out or that doesn't look right. And I'm going to put these together. So there's a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there, and we have the tails for the bow. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to put some glue on the top of that and place the bow that we've already made right in the center. Fluff the bow just a little bit, get an idea of what it's going to look like when we're getting ready to use it, and give that glue some time to dry. And this is what our bow is going to look like. So we have to have a way to attach it, and I'm going to do the same thing with the wire that I did before. I'm just going to make a loop like a hairpin, stick it through there, and then I'm going to put it right above where I already have a hanger. Once it's secured, I'm going to use a couple of dots of glue to give my ribbon tails a little bit of movement. Just going to put a dot of glue there because I'll be repurposing this um, form at another time. Just a couple of little dots of glue to hold it in place. And then you can also do the same thing on the other side and put it in your floral section if you'd like. Now I'm going to just make the extra little tail part with the tool, tuck it underneath, and then there you go. So this is project one, and this is a wreath for my door. This is my front door, and it is all glass. And here's my beautiful magnolia arrangement. Project number two. I'm going to be using some of these decorative balls. These are um, different types of almost, I want to say wooden and also vine. I'm going to use a five inch wreath and one of the bigger um, orbs here. It has wire on the inside, like a wire frame or a metal frame. I'm going to do what we, what's going to be my bottom right now is what I'm attaching to it. This is like my base and I'm going to attach this in four sections and leave a little bit of my pipe cleaners there. Leave a little bit of length, like an inch probably, on each section. And I'm just going to go into quarters and do one on each quarter. All you have to do is kind of bend a little loop to make it thread through easier. Then I'm going to do the same thing right in the center of, of that section, right on the bottom. Next, I'm going to use some jute cord. I've got about 16 inches, but you can vary the lengths. And you're gonna tie off each of these orbs. Do a couple of knots so that it is nice and secure, and be sure that you tie it on a piece that is actually attached and not loose, because sometimes they will be loose. Now, I've flipped this over, and on the center top, what's gonna be our top, I have just fed a little bit of that jute through there and I'm going to do a little knot so that I have a hanger right there on the top. So there you go, this is gonna hang. Now we're gonna flip it back over to the bottom. I'm going to undo the twist tie just a tad and start adding the ropes with the smaller orbs on it. I'm gonna twist that in and then I'm going to trim off the little extra because I don't need the extra anymore. Do the same thing with each of the other sections. You want to vary your length, but since we're not cutting it or tying it down, 
twisting it up in this will allow you to to look at it and make adjustments make it higher make it lower however you want to do these because you do want these to be hanging at different levels and this way you can pull that jute back and forth through the loops that you have in that chenail stem so next i'm going to start pulling off some greenery that i have just pulling off all these little segments these are all thrifted every bit of this is thrifted except for the jute and I'm just going to start adding these in where that big orb meets the little wreath that's underneath it so there's a little little space there and I'm gonna put these pieces I don't know what kind of greenery this is but I like it It's very airy and I'm just gonna do that all the way around then I'm gonna add some to the top of each one of the smaller orbs. I'm going to add two, one on either side of each of the smaller orbs. It's very easy to do. A little hot glue will hold it in there. You can use a different type of adhesive if you were going to have this outside in a windy place. Um, you know, however you want to do it. Then I'm going to take little strips of jute and I'm going to tie bows in the top over the knot on each one of these. That's going to give it a little added security because it is right underneath the knot. Sorry, I'm out of the out of your sight right there for a moment. And then I'm going to take three strips of 10 inches and I'm going to tie a couple of little stacked bows in the center. I just want to remind you rules you can find it in the first card of this video and in the description box but I also want to let you know that it is a hop so that means you have to watch each of all the eight videos and in the description boxes of each video there's going to be a link that will send you to the next video you need to leave a comment on each one that you watch each of the eight and this is going to give you a chance to win $80 here you follow all of those rules and good luck now after the bows are tied, I'm just going to go up and add four or five pieces of that same greenery to the top. Here it is completed. A little piece of porch decor. I think it's gorgeous. What do you think? Summer is, when I think of summer, I think of sitting on the porch with a glass of iced tea. Oh yeah, and all the good stuff. Now here's the last little project, and this is a little bonus project really. Very simple. I'm just using some cans in two different sizes that some greens and some black eyed peas came in because I live in the south. I'm just going to use some extra scraps and bits that I had left. I pulled off the edges to make them rough. I'm going to hot glue them down the seam there. I'm going to use the other one to do the other can. I'm just going to trim it down, take the edges off, fray it out a bit, and add it to the larger can. These cans could be used for artificial um, candles. It could be like the flameless candles, or you could use greenery you could put flowers in them you could put shells in them whatever you want to do you can make this your own it's what my channel is all about just glue that down and remember those scraps trim that i had well, there we go i'm going to use one here i'm going to take some of that greenery it's a little bit different. The color is a little bit different on these. This might actually be eucalyptus. Just going to adjust it a bit. Then I'm going to tie it off. There you go. That one's done. Now I have this from a project that I did earlier. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit longer, but it is burlap. I'm going to take a little finger full of that same greenery. Put it down, tie it nicely, and I'm going to trim that off so we don't need 
anything to help catch the wind and take it off the porch. And this is what they're going to look like. Nice. If you want to add greenery like I did, this is what you do. I'm keeping it simple with some neutral colors here, but you can do whatever you would like for yours. I'm not even using any foam. I'm just using what I have, making this super simple for this last project. Cutting these in different lengths, not even cutting the flowers. I'm just folding them over and poking them down in there. Adding some more, added some more pieces. There you go. Thank you, Miss Crafty Lady, for being the hostess for this video and for this challenge and collaboration. Be sure to check out her show live on Saturdays at 7 Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.